What stood out most for you about these particular games? Well, first of all, I think Chad Leclerc seven medals. Um, he equaled Michael Phelps's record at the games. So I think that's a positive and something we can take from the games. And then for me also something that stood out was the so-called small or Cinderella sports that um, obtained medals. If you look at judo, got a couple of medals. Boxing got a medal. So I think the smaller sports really you know, um, made Saskatchewan take note of them. No, well done to them. I mean, some people also mentioned that Rugby Sevens, well, that was a, quite a dramatic win against New Zealand, uh, the nemesis of South African rugby. Yeah, I agree with you. And I think um, the Sevens team were always going to be middle favourites. I think the gold was just a bonus. And I think this really put us on track for the World Championship next year and also the Olympic Games in 2016. Right. Now, with that said, uh, we, 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 did, uh, we had a very, uh, very clearly stated mission before we started. You know, we need to come back with 43 medals. We need to retain the yeah. fifth position that we got in, in Delhi at the last yeah. Commonwealth Games. Uh, we got more medals than we did in Delhi. However, yeah. we didn't get to the 50, uh, 43, rather. Yeah. And we didn't get the fifth position. Yeah, we, we got 33 in, in Delhi four years ago, and mm. the aim was to get 10 more. We fell just short. We got 40. But I think if you look at the overall standings as well, um, it's not dominated by, Aus by Australia and England anymore. And South Africa, even though we got more medals, we came two places down. So I think it's also maybe due to the other smaller nations, like Nigeria did very well, um, Jamaica did very well. So the other nations are also getting the medals, so it's a, it's, a, it's a bit more balanced these days. I think maybe the word you might have been looking for is not necessarily not dominated, yeah. because they came in first and second, but yeah. probably that like they're not the only ones who are actually winning stuff. Right? Yeah, and if you look at the sports that they dominated before, I mean, if you look at um, swimming, for example, where Australia dominated, South Africa are giving them a fair chance of, you know, run for their money now. And also, if you look at the bowls, where South Africa got seven medals, and we dominated the bowling section at the, at the games, and that's really a positive for South African sport. Definitely. I think I'd want to get into that a little mm -hmm. late. In fact, what we've, what we've prepared for our viewers is just to get an understanding of where we stand uh, amongst all the different nations in terms of our, our ranking. We're now seventh. Uh, the number of medals that we got broken down as opposed to the, uh, the England's and Australia's. As, as everybody can see, England and Australia are right up there, right up, th right up top. In fact, I'd say the first three with Canada, they've got in the 30s of goals, 16, 42 silvers for, for Australia and so on and so forth. 174 total medals for England. And then uh, well, the next bunch of, uh, of competing nations was where we are. Yeah. We have a total of 40 medals. I think something that really stands out for me here is um, the host nation, Scotland, who ended fourth <coughs> with um, 53 medals. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, Scotland, besides rugby and the odd sport, is not quite that known in, in, in international sports. So they did really well. And then something that's disappointing for me is that New Zealand ended above us um, with 45 medals. If you look population-wise, we've got four times the population that New Zealand has. And I think if you look at the raw talent that South Africa has and also our infrastructure, it's really disappointing that New Zealand ended ahead of us with 45 medals. Yeah, I mean, with that said, uh, I think we're just one medal short, uh, one gold medal short of actually maybe even pipping these guys. Uh, well, having said that, uh, it's actually quite interesting that uh, you point out New Zealand with a very small population. Um, in rugby, it doesn't seem to have, make any difference. They're still like a really small nation and they're still topping the tables in yeah, all they, forms yeah. of rugby, aren't they? They're, they're a rugby mad nation and it's a basically a religion there. So I think they'll be very disappointed that they ended up with a silver the first time since in the history of the Games that they did not get a gold medal at the Commonwealth Games in Rugby Sevens. Looking at these, do you think South Africa's got a, uh, the possibility of playing catch up with the, the Canada's, Australia's and England? Well, we've got to take the positive. 40 medals is a step up. It's a step in the right direction. Even though we came down two places, the, med the medal tally went up. So I think in the next, for the next two years, building up to the Olympic Games in Rio, we've got to take the, the 40 medalists, although some of these sports won't necessarily feature at the Olympic Games. But um, something that's got to be taken into account is the administration from SASCOC's side. And, you know, if SASCOC gets a lot of money from the lotteries board, and if they invest that money, in, in, in the athletes and not necessarily the medalists, but maybe the guys that came forth, that came forth and put them on the OPEX pro program over the next couple of years, in the next two years, to make them competitive, give them access to facilities for them to increase and to get better. Mm -hmm. I think we can definitely, not maybe at the Olympic Games, but at the next Commonwealth Games in Melbourne, Australia, we'll definitely, you know, could maybe look at more than 50 medals. Now, look, uh, we've got another table that's prepared. Just to, uh, to touch a little bit more into what you're saying about Saskatchewan administration and some of the medals that we can get, let's go look deep, dig deeper down into the, the, the codes themselves. Um, look, uh, so athletics, lawn bowls, and swimming. 
they stood out head and shoulders above the rest of our sporting codes. And, and some might be surprised about Lohan Bowles, yeah. but they pulled five medals. Five and it's not medals, new. Yeah. If somebody looks at what they did in Delhi, they pulled three of the 12 gold medals that South Africa came back with. I think the seven medals brought down by the Bowles team is definitely a bonus. I don't think South Africa um, bagged um, or banked on that for that reason. I think they were more hoping that the swimmers and those kind of people would bring more medals. So I think those seven, <coughs> so if you take those seven medals and you take the seven medals that Chad LeClaw brought, that's 14 medals out of the 40. Mm -hmm. So that means uh, the rest of the 120 athletes only brought back 26 medals. And we're not for one moment criticizing the athletes. I'm saying that the administrators need to look at what needs to be done to improve and to get the circle of athlete better, the selection of athletes better so that we can bring back more medals. No, no, true that. I, mean, th I think that's quite succinct that you point out that 14 of the 40 were brought back by a single team called yeah. Lon Bowles, who are not well known, as well as a single athlete yeah. called Chad Leclerc, who yeah. brought seven on his own. Yeah. That's quite, that's, that says quite a lot about the, 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 the potential. Because the, the mine is there to be mined, is it not? I've, I've, I've covered sports for about 10 years now, Kindle, and I can honestly tell you at ground level, we've got the talent. But somewhere on the conveyor belt, on the, conveyor belt the, the talent seems to get lost and we don't get our, reach our full potential. If you look at, there's an athlete, a Lee Julies, who a couple of years ago at, as a junior came second to St. Bolt. At the age of 27, he gave up because he didn't want, the, it wasn't lucrative enough for him to continue with athletics in South Africa. And we've got to keep those guys in the system and, you know, groom them from a young age so that by the time that they reach their peak, that they can compete with the likes of Usain Bolt and those people. So you say there's a disjoint between what gets said by the officials as well as what actually happens on the ground because they do tout a lot of there's development here, there's development there, the National Lottery Board uh, puts money into this and so on and so forth. However, the reality for a lot of people is there's a struggle out there. There is a struggle, and I, like, like I said, let's not forget, we got 40 medals, but I think for a country like South Africa with the talent and infrastructure that we have, I think we can do a lot better, and we can definitely end above a team like New Zealand. Yeah, no, I believe that. Now, with, uh, with regards to uh, the 2016 Rio Olympics, uh, which sporting codes do you think we should be looking out for based on performance that we saw just now? I know for a fact, for example, for me, uh, an athlete to look out for will be Simbini, the, the sprinter. Yep. He's done incredibly well. Uh, he seems to be on a very, on a very good fast track and anybody else that you think, I think might don't forget Simon Mahakwe mm -hmm. the 100 meter champion I think you know when he broke the South African record he went straight onto the OP OPEX program if he didn't break that record I don't think he would have even featured at the Olympic Ga at the Commonwealth Games no, he wouldn't have. yeah so um, <coughs> Mahakwe obviously our swimmers I think Sebastian Rousseau the young swimmer that came third to Chad I think he needs to be groomed a bit, and he think, I think he has a lot of potential. And then also, I think our, our, our Springbok 7 teams have now really made a point to show that they are firm favourites to win gold at the Olympic Games in, in 2016. And uh, now, uh, somebody like, um, like uh, Miles Brown in the pool, he didn't quite uh, deliver as promised. No, he didn't. And then also, something that I forgot to tell you now is that also look at our athletes. Uh, I think our athletes did brilliantly. If you look at um, Cornell Fredericks in the 400 yes. meter hurdles, gold medal, I think he's definitely a firm favorite to watch. Kotomukwe now coming Kotomukwe back in his bang, old yeah. age, one would say, because yeah. I mean, at his age, he's quite an old man in athletics, yeah. at least. Yeah, I think he's definitely back on track to, to get gold in, in, in the Olympics as well. But I think our athletes, they, they, they're rebuilding. Athletics South Africa is rebuilding. So I think they can only good things can come from those guys as well. And we've got medals from cycling and so on and so forth. Um, uh, Mulman Pasio, that yeah. lady uh, winning by two millimeters right at the yeah, end. Yeah, that was yeah. pretty good stuff. Yeah, I think, I think she also needs to be groomed. Um, nobody gave her a chance. It, mm. I think it was also by pure coincidence that she ended at the, at the Commonwealth Games. I, I don't think she was in the initial squad and then later on she was added and then she came back with a medal. All right, now, phenomenal stuff. Jody, as always, always such a pleasure talking to you. I do know there's a lot more to be delved into. In fact, I think what we should be doing, and this is for, for you as well, our viewers at home, as maybe my producer as well, should try and see if we can bring in uh, the High Performance Center, maybe have yeah. a chat, have a chat with you, have a I chat know with that the... High Performance Center in Pretoria does a lot of good work, as yeah. and so, so does the Sp Sports Science Institute in Cape Town. No, for, super, super, fantastic okay. stuff. Thank you, Jody. Thanks, man. That was Jody Hendricks giving us a lowdown on what happened out in the Commonwealth Games and how well the team did with all these medals and breaking it down by code as much as we could with the time that we have. Now in the next story, a German